To begin with, you'll grab a lump of clay that's going to be the size for what you want to make. Um, I'm going to use a larger chunk of clay so you can see things a little bit more clearly. If you're just learning how to center, it would be better to start with a smaller chunk so that way the centering process is a lot easier. Okay, to start with, take that lump of clay and you're going to wedge it a little bit on the surface of the uh, wheel. You always want to make sure that you wedge a little bit so that way you don't have any gaps in the clay because those gaps will cause parts of your walls to um, have some issues. Right after you've wedged it, form it into a circle and then you want to find the center point on the wheel and that's why we have these concentric circles on here so you can tell where the center is and you want to do your best to try to hit the clay down in the center. You want to really douse this thing down with water. If you ever feel like the clay is starting to stick to your hands, you have to add more water. Um, that's just what needs to happen to be able to move the clay around. When you center, you're going to go full speed on the wheel, so you press down all the way, so that way the clay is moving very quickly. You take some water, don't be afraid about getting wet and messy here. Um, I'm going to lock my elbow in up against my inner thigh, so that way I can use my body to press into the clay. One hand is going to be on the outside, while the other hand is on the top. So it's kind of like a karate chop shape, um, or you can even press down like a fist on the top of the clay. Keep coming back with water, and you're going to start by pressing down to suction the clay onto the surface of the board here. Always come back with water the moment you come back to the clay. And this is where you can really start to tell if the clay is centered or not. If you start to look down from the top and you see that the clay is wobbly, you know that you need to go come back and center it again. I'll usually go back to the water and just scrape off any chunks of clay because um, your hands will start to get messy and that creates more tackiness on the clay as well. So I'm going to come back to the clay here. If it really seems like it's off-centered, one of the things you can do is press up to the clay to form it up into more of a cone and then press it down. Press it up and then press it down. Sometimes it'll be off-centered on the bottom, and if you need to, you can come to the clay with a tool to scrape off some of the clay that would cause your hand to be kind of bumping up off the surface here. So to do that, you grab one of your wooden modeling tools from your tool kit, and as the, as the uh, wheel is going to be spinning, you're going to be carving a little bit of that clay off. So I'll start the wheel going again here. See that I'm just taking that clay right off. And use your tool, the side angle like this. And then you can come back to the clay again and try to center it. When you're coming off the clay, you have to be very gentle. If you bump the clay at all, it'll cause the, the clay to come off centered again. Here's how you tell if you're centered. Hold your finger up against the clay until it's touching the clay and feel if the clay is being pushed back at all and moving your finger. There's going to be an acceptable amount of movement that's okay. If it's really pushing your finger off the clay, you know that you need to try again. Um, so you kind of start from the beginning again where you make it into a cone, push it back down, make it into a cone, push it back down, and then do your final centering with the karate chop and side piece here. You'll see on my hand where um, things are kind of messy. I'm actually touching the clay right along my inner palm right here. So that's where I'm making the contact with the clay. I'm also getting some clay right here. So you can see where you know, the side of my hand is really touching the clay. 